book 338. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about Area 22 and the Prison of Disembodied Souls, Part 1. That's right, Area 22 and the Prison of Disembodied Souls, Part 1. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, a story about a crashed alien spaceship in Roswell, New Mexico, made a place called Area 51 a household name. It was said that the American government held living alien entities and several down alien spacecrafts inside of Area 51. And since these stories were first exposed, there has been a constant debate about whether these tales were true or not. Area 51 is by no means the only secret base ran by the American government and its alien guests are by no means the strangest secrets. A high-ranking government official, who is one of my ancestors no less, has passed down directly to me from mouth to ear an interesting tale about a place called Area 22. This official, who was extremely curious by nature and enjoyed stories about conspiracies and cover-ups, stumbled upon Area 22 by happenstance, and what transpired after his discovery is truly remarkable indeed. One day, this man was given the task of shredding several boxes of classified documents and then properly disposing of the remains. As he carried out his orders, however, curiosity got the best of him, and he began examining the documents prior to destroying them. He came across lots of tantalizing bits of information. Some of it he was aware of and some of it he was not. There were documents talking about covert operations overseas, covert operations on American shores, assassinations of both prominent and relatively unknown individuals, and there were even documents which shed interesting light on the subject of beings from other planets visiting the Earth. As the man read over each classified document, he promptly destroyed it after reading it and then moved on to the next file. For reasons my ancestor cannot fully explain, his hands seemed to be guided to one file folder which appeared old and worn. Picking it up, he carefully read the bold black words printed on the front. Area 22 and the prison of disembodied souls. He whispered softly, feeling a chill run down his spine. The temperature in the room appeared to drop dramatically as he opened the file and examined it. His heart began beating faster and his palms started to sweat as he flipped through the many pages. It seemed as if the document was referring to a secret underground base that the American government ran. This base was located inside of a mountain range and it was carved out of the very rocks itself. Along with the printed pages, there were several pictures included in the file. The man's eyes grew wide as he peered at what seemed to be large cages inside of a stainless steel room with humans inside of them. Some of the caged humans looked like ancient Egyptians, some looked like ancient Romans, some looked like ancient Greeks, and some looked like primitive Neanderthal type beasts. The man could also see in the photos several scientists standing inside the room with clipboards seeming to observe the prisoners. Next to each cage was a large metal contraption with thick black power cords extending from the top of them. Even though the man had spent the day reading classified documents, this particular one moved him like none other. Holding the file precariously over the document shredder, the man knew what he was supposed to do, but a small voice inside of his mind caused him to hesitate. He couldn't help but to want answers to what he had just discovered, even though he knew that seeking answers could cost him his job, his freedom, or even his very life. It was something about the title of the file and the information he came across inside that caused him to risk it in order to satisfy his curiosity. Clenching his jaw and letting out a loud sigh, the man pulled back his hand and he chose not to shred the file. Instead, he looked around, slid the file inside of his waistband, and tucked in his shirt over it. I do not know why, he said to himself, but I must find this Area 22 in the prison of disembodied souls. Then, the man went back to reading and shredding the other documents. His mind was so preoccupied with the task in front of him and his thoughts about what he was about to do that he did not even notice the four shadowy figures fading in and out of reality that were standing in the four corners of the room watching him. To be continued in Area 22 and the Prison of Disembodied Souls, Part 2. And so, the morning motivation of today is Area 22 and the Prison of Disembodied Souls, Part 1. Always remember that if you look hard enough for something, you will most likely find it. 
all of us born into this world are being guided by our own curiosity and the desires of our heart. These feelings within us pull us in a particular direction that is meant to lead us into fulfilling our purpose on earth. This is why one of the greatest tragedies in life is allowing someone else to dictate to you the path your life should take. Only when you follow your heart will you find true pleasure in this life. Today, take some time to listen to your inner voice. Follow wherever your heart guides and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are wonderful and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.